Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are a developer, then you must have wondered, can we create React and Tailwind component in just a few minutes? And that is true now. We have this uh, layout.dev editor with which we can create component uh, in just a few minutes. Uh, let's see a menu bar component. And uh, this is the behavior, like it provides lots of options. We can also get a uh, code for that. Now let's see the uh, card component. So this is the card component uh, that is provides by default and what we will do is we'll look into some of the features like suppose uh, I click on this part then it will show me the documentation of Tailwind because it is using Tailwind then uh, we can search on the Tailwind and then we can look for different kind of classes and then like we can uh, integrate this into this application. Now suppose I am on this part and if I click on this documentation then it will go to the uh, layout documentation itself and it will show like what exactly this is so if I will go here then it will show okay what this description is footer header title and uh, this thing so this is the default uh, UI provided for this component by layout and also the uh, design is done by Tailwind so now let's see on how we can customize it according to our theme and we can change colors and all and different things so first thing I will do is I will add a, a background of gray so now you can see that uh, it is able to understand uh, Tailwind classes and if I will click on the doc it will say okay yeah this is a background color and uh, so whenever you will write uh, Tailwind CSS then it will understand this and it will implement it. So if you are a Tailwind developer and if you have experience of working with React and CSS then you can easily build this component. Now let's change our text color to gray as well. Okay, and this one. And we have these labels as well. Also, let's add a background color for this triple button. We can use shift and up key to increase the intensity of the color as well. Now for this cancel button, let's add Okay. Now if we'll go to the hover, then you can see this is going uh, to dark. So let's add a tailwind class for that as well. Now if you will have on this button, you can see this uh, nice styling. So under the hood, it is using Tailwind. So if you are familiar with Tailwind, then you can uh, use this as a playground and you can create beautiful component and design it accordingly. It provides lots of uh, different kind of component. Like if I go to calendar, then I need a calendar and then like we have a calendar, like we can customize it. Uh, so you can see it provides some uh, customizations as well. Now if I want a menu bar then we can go and just click on the menu bar and uh, we'll have a menu bar here. So you can see if we have this menu bar here. And uh, if you click on this part uh, we'll have the code. Since most of the folks are using uh, Tailwind with the Actor next year. So this editor is uh, going to be quite helpful like you can just write a bunch of code and then uh, it will create the beautiful UI for you. You can create custom uh, using div, h1 tag, those things also and uh, create everything on your own. So whether you are a developer who is looking to uh, build some UI component uh, faster in few minutes or someone who is working on its uh, startup and build, want to build a landing page, then you can uh, utilize this. It's a handy tool. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and drop your thoughts in the comments below. In the upcoming videos, we'll talk more about the cool AI stuff and uh, things that's happening in the web development and we'll also look into things related to React, Next, Talvin and other stuff. So yeah, see you soon in the next video.